Guys, you got to check out this PCP air rifle build that just came out of the Timonator Labs for Francisco out in California. He requested a 580cc bottle. We've got the barrel harmonics kit under the shroud. This is running our new Terminator Mega Shock bottle band. Customer also requested our uh, Terminator muzzle tuner, the Short Dog LDC, and he was complaining about his trigger. So we're running an aftermarket AE Swede trigger on this build. We cut some length off of the barrel and shroud, and we do some proprietary massaging to these barrels to get them to be a lot more accurate. So I'll be shooting some groups in a little while here and uh, you guys can check that out so stay tuned for that we have picatinny rails on both sides of the mega shock bottle band so that if you're out there uh, trying to get on them bunnies or do a little backyard ratting then you can easily mount your uh, lamp out front there spot that quarry so that's pretty cool this ATAC stock's done in a zombie green colorway. It's one of our popular colors. It blends in real good. Yeah, so there's a bunch of stuff going on on this rifle from the power plantum to give it some more foot pounds to all the accuracy mods that we've done, which all add up to greatly improve the accuracy from the G-Shock flexible bottle band grommets, the muzzle tuner, the short dog LDC, the harmonic dampening grommets inside the barrel shroud, this particular tune is 2300 on the rig and hammer spring to kick the 25 grains at 945 feet per second. And once we do our ammo testing a little bit later in this video, I'll get you guys a shot count of how many shots per fill we're getting on this 580cc bottle with this power tune. The reg can be set all the way up to 2900 or 3000 and right now it's at 2300. So we could get more power out of this, but right now we're kicking about 50 FPE. So, so anyways, I got some paper punching to do. Bam, bam, with this bad boy. I'll show you guys what it can do on paper. We're on our standard uh, 40 yard target. So uh, keep everything consistent with all the other builds. And um, we'll run a variety of projectiles through this thing. So let's see if this updated Zombie Slayer Edition Terminator ATAC Avenger is going to be able to do that or not all right first group jts dead center 25 grain Nine hundred sixteen. Nine hundred seven. Nine hundred fourteen. 912 914 Alright, pulled that second shot, just getting used to the trigger, but next going to be up, JSB, 25 grains. First uh, couple shots, should be to season in the barrel to the fresh material, but we're just going to run through these real quick. <clears throat> 919 912 919 919 916 all right, next up, we'll run the uh, <clears throat> FX Diablo 25s. 919. 912. 914. 919. 914. Alright, those are pretty good. Next up, we'll run the uh, JSB Hades 26 grain. 893. 886. 
886 888 895 Very nice. Okay, next up we're on the uh, FX Atomics. Yeah, the FX Atomics and the JSB Hades. They're really good pellets, uh, very accurate, but they do tend to have thin and soft skirts, which can get banged up in the tin. So if you're running for accuracy, definitely need to kind of sort through those two uh, different types of pellets. All right, let's let it rip. Eight hundred ninety-five. Eight hundred eighty-six. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Eight hundred ninety-one. Cool. All right, let's run these uh, Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Projectiles. You got what looks like a Phillips head, screwdriver imprint on the face. And when they impact the quarry, it flares out into a square shape, like a flat square sledgehammer. Things are 28 and a half grain. They hit pretty hard on quarry. See how they do on paper punching. Eight hundred sixty-eight. Eight hundred seventy-seven. Eight hundred sixty-one. 877 879 Doing very nice on paper punching, I have to say. Alright, let's check out these uh, Predator GTO lead free 16 and a half grain. So at this power tune, I would guess they'd be running pretty hot. Maybe too hot to group. But, uh, I like these pellets because uh, on a setup like this, man, you could tune down the tune to shoot these at like 850 or 900, and with a 580 cc bottle, you could get so many shots per fill in 25 caliber. So it makes this platform pretty versatile if you can go from a pellet like this all the way up to a slug or a heavier projectile because of the types of uh, quarry that you can put it on. Different power labels. Alright, let's let these uh, GTOs rip. One thousand forty four. One thousand forty two. Yeah, like I said, they're kicking pretty fast. I think uh, with these being a different material than the lead, it might take a while to season these to the barrel. So I'm actually going to. Uh, run one more group of these and just see if it uh, seasons in a little bit jammed it in there didn't it backwards come on D come on there we go alright and then after this We'll see about running some slugs. Now I'm getting 
bit by these mosquitoes even through my pants. One thousand fifty three. One thousand twenty five. One thousand forty four. One thousand forty eight. One thousand forty two. Yeah, it's kind of like I thought as they started scraping the lead off of the rifling, the tin. They start grouping better, so yeah, these are actually doing real good. So at that velocity, to be doing printing good, if you tune them at the right velocity, it'd probably be, just be tighter than that. All right, so uh, next up, we'll see if this thing can handle any slugs. So uh, I found some old school Terminator 33 grain slugs on the shelf. So we'll uh, run those down the barrel. See what see what's up with those. These were uh, pretty much tailored for the CZ barrel of the Oregon 25 cal that I had back in the day. But I don't know how they run out of these <coughs> modified Avenger barrels. Seven hundred eighty-two. Seven hundred eighty-six. I guess they run pretty good. All right, so uh, let's run some of Luis's. Uh, Louise built sluggers. Um, man, he get, gave me so many samples, but I just grabbed something that was similar in weight to these Terminators. So I grabbed these 34 grains, and uh, let's see how these do. Running out of this uh, Zombie Slayer Avenger with the modified barrel and all the uh, harmonics improvements muzzle tuner, harmonics dampeners, and the uh, Mega Shock bottle band. Louis built sluggers, 34s. See if these run through this barrel. Seven hundred seventy-nine. Seven hundred seventy. Seven hundred seventy two. Seven hundred seventy seven. Seven hundred seventy five. Well, hot damn. Yeah, I bet if I went through his whole assortment, he gave me like twenty different uh, sizes and weights and uh, different base profiles from cup to. Uh, cup base to dish base so I bet if he I bet if I went through all of his assortment I'd get something that works really well because uh, that's five shots touching at 40 yards and uh, anyway so what that shows and what that tells me is that this platform yeah right here can run both uh, slugs or pellets so everything from your uh, hunting projectiles slugs alloy pellets to your target paper punching lead diabolo pellets uh, this platform looks like it can run pretty much everything that we throw at it and that's due to the tweaks that we've done to the internals of the barrel as well as to all the harmonics work that we've done to the uh, build platform in the terminator labs so yeah if you guys want something that's a uh, dead nuts accurate you'll be dead oh there's a little bunny running by let's shoot him nah we'll leave him get back at you guys in a minute wrap up this video so yeah we took like 53 shots during the accuracy testing portion and then uh, that dropped us down 
1300 PSI. So I would say we'd still got at least 30 shots left, 80 shots per fill. So guys, that was definitely a successful uh, ammo testing and accuracy, uh, and accuracy testing session for this here uh, updated Zombie Slayer edition, Terminator Avenger. I was real stoked with the results that we got. <clears throat> across a variety of ammo types. Like I said, we were running at 2300 PSI on the rig. So boost it up to 2700, 2800, crank up the hammer spring, get even more power. You know, uh, I'll leave it up to the owner to uh, stretch this thing out to 100. I gotta get this thing packed up and shipped out today. I got some other stuff to do, but yeah, uh, based on the looks of those slugs and uh, those FX Diabolo uh, dome pellets, you know, you can't get much more sub MOA than what we printed with those FX uh, 25 grain. All I can say to all those golden trigger finger boys out there is just eat your heart out because we just shot sub MOA with the Avenger platform. And uh, that just goes to show you guys like the Avenge X is coming out, which is going to be sick. And uh, yeah, everybody should get one for sure. And, uh, but don't rule out the old platform yet. Just don't just chuck it to the side or just throw it in the basement because it's still a good viable platform. You know, slap a bottle on there and uh, throw some Terminator mods on there. And uh, yeah, it'll be a critter getter for years to come. Just definitely keep it in your collection, uh, you know, for sure, because the potential is there. You just gotta build it up right and tune it right. So, uh, so yeah, send us in your gauntlet or uh, Avenger and we'll uh, cherry it out like this one right here, like this Zombie Slayer and then uh, Otherwise, we'll catch you guys on the next one.